Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're snowing again. Seems like the theme of this year here in Utah, it's always snowing. So, I've got a fire going in here, got it nice and toasty. We're gonna do a walkthrough. I've had a ton of comments on our social media accounts wanting to see the interior of this blue trimmed camp. So, we're gonna do a walkthrough today and hope that you enjoy. So some of the unique features on this one are pretty obvious. You can see how it's trimmed out in the blue with the stainless steel hardware on the hinges. Turned out super sharp, even got the blue graphics to match. But aside from that, there's nothing really out of the norm on this one. Maybe aside from the way that this back is laid out. So as you can see, we got a nice big window up top there and this is what's kind of caused a lot of um, questions as far as what's going on in the interior in on our social media accounts so that's what we're going to do today we're going to go through and see what's going on on the inside so this camp is an x27 meaning it's our wider 102 inch exterior and then it's a 21 foot interior as you can see, nice cherry wood. I'm gonna come in so we don't get snow all over in it. But we've got our big closet and maybe I'll turn on our interior cabinet lights so you can get a feel for it. So we got a light inside. So a little closet here inside. They did a little shelf down here with this open so they can come in, take their boots off, keep all their shoes and stuff in there. They do have the doors for these if they wanna put them on. And we have our stainless steel fridge freezer combo. Microwave, air fryer, propane gas light. I've got, done a video on these, but they're pretty cool. They put off quite a bit of heat. You can dim them down, turn them up, however you want to do it. So kind of cool setup, monitoring system. Um, that switch right there is the one that I just turned on for their cabinet lights. So all of these are all lit up. Your water heater. This one, they have the three burner cooktop row of drawers with your converter, all your fuses and everything down there. The colors in this one are uh, Persian cherry on the cabinets. And then the countertops are a Wilson Art white. And then it's a heritage buckskin floor with a Wilson Art white cypress walls. Super cool, I like the way that it's turned out. I think the colors go really well together. They do have the recliners in this one. And then this has a king size lower bed with a queen up top that was raised up so that they had given more headroom down below. But uh, I think it turned out super nice. That's what that big window is in the back there. The speakers got integrated into the ceiling on this one so that we could give them as much room as possible in the back. You got your Persian cherry rosewood trim. And all of these, just like all of our camps, have the slow close hinges as well as the locking slides so it's set up also to where they can put the tv there if they decide that they want the tv best feature of all the wood burning stove and it's i don't know what the temperature is outside right now it's snowing but in here i would say we're easily 70 and i just barely started this so your big, this is our wider 
single sink, super deep, tons of space in there. Probably one of my favorite sinks is the double sink is just giant. Um, takes up a lot of your counter space. So depending on how you're using it, I would say for most applications, this sink would be more than adequate. Your overhead storage, and as you've noticed on these, they have no poles on them um, or knobs. And a lot of that is, from what I understand, their kids get a little wild and they like to climb on the knobs and the poles and pull on them. And so they opted out of the um, poles. Divide it up. He's got the tip outs in them. Lots of overhead space. And then this has the 32 inch shower. Um, they did a curtain rod in this one. So the bigger shower, shower pan, um, super nice. I like the way it lays out, especially if you're a bigger person, just gives you a lot more room. But anyways, I'd love to hear what you think about this camp, maybe what you'd change, what you'd keep, what you think of the colors, all of those things. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I, I try my best to keep up with them um, in response to your questions. So anyways, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, like, share, all those fun things, and we'll catch you on the next one.